If you take a little bit longer to warm up to certain fashion trends, then you are not alone. And in today's episode, I'm sharing 10 trends that took me a little bit longer to warm up to, but I'm really pleased that I did. And I'm picking that you may be exactly the same. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking fashion trends that I really didn't like, but I actually love them. And I think you might be the same on some of these trends. But before we get started, I'd like to say a very big thank you to the team at GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring today's episode. By cutting out the middleman, Glasses USA offers over 9,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses, including in-house brands like Muse, Amelia E, and designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, and so many more. They're also up to 70% off retail prices, which is amazing. You can shop for all your eyewear needs online at affordable prices, starting at a ridiculous $30 with basic prescription lenses included. You don't even have to leave home to shop shop at glassesusa.com, which is one of the big advantages and the first thing that attracted me to the brand. They also offer a 100% money back guarantee, which is really important to me. And if you're someone that struggles to find the perfect glasses for you, then they also offer this amazing quiz, which takes about a minute and it actually walks you through what glasses and what shapes are best for you. And if you're a contact lens wearer, then you are covered as well because they offer 25% off all of the big name contact lens brands. So all of the brands are there at glassesusa.com as well. They also have this amazing virtual try on. So I did it. It was incredible. So you basically upload a photo of yourself to the website and then you can try on all of the different frames and see exactly how they look and the size and the shape. So you get a great idea of what you can expect. So when your glasses arrive, they look exactly as you imagined. And if you don't know your prescription like me, they have this really cool tool on the website where you just scan your existing glasses so the lenses on your existing glasses and it gives you the exact prescription so you can straight away go shopping these frames are my new faves they're Amelia E which is one of the in-house brands at glassesusa.com I love the fact that they are tortoise shell with a fine um, I've been wearing some chunkier glasses so this is a nice departure for me from, for me and I love the fact that they're really lightweight, easy to wear and go with everything I own. The team let me choose a couple of pairs. So I also picked up this pair of Muse, which again is a, an in-house brand. And I really just wanted a classic black, simple, timeless frame that wasn't too big, wasn't too small, something that would just kind of work with everything as well. I do like my glasses and eyewear to suit pretty much everything I own and I'm not having to sort of swap them out with different outfits. So that's why I generally tend to go for a black or a neutral frame. But these are lovely, I'm really enjoying them. The other pair that I decided to get was a pair of sunglasses, which I think these also suit me. I'm really enjoying the fact that they also are not too big, not too small just a simple timeless frame. And it was really nice for me to try some in-house brands because I'm a little bit of an eyewear snob and tend to go for the designer brands, but it was so nice branching out and picking brands that actually look and feel amazing on. To shop for your own pair of glasses, simply use my link, which I will leave in the description box below. So you can also enjoy free shipping and a 100% money back guarantee. So a big thanks to glassesusa.com for sponsoring today's episode. Now let's get on with these trends that I'm sure you're going to love as much as I do if you just give them a chance. Now the first trend that has taken me a really long time to warm up to and I'm super pleased that I have and I think that you may be a little bit the same and that is tweed jackets. Now you know the jackets that I mean, they're sort of Chanel-esque kind of jackets and in my mind they've always seemed a little bit too mature or even slightly old-fashioned but I love the fact that they are trending big time now and for me I love the look of them paired back with something a little unexpected so wearing them worn back with denim jeans or distressed denim or with cargo pants just in a way that is just not what you would automatically think of pairing a sophisticated 
timeless tweed jacket with. So I think the key really is in styling and how you pair them back with other pieces that are just a little bit more modern and a little bit more, say, street. I've actually ordered a couple of tweed jackets, so let me know in the comments below if you would like to see how I plan on styling them, and I'll do that real soon because I can't wait. When something arrives, I can't wait to create outfits with it. But also let me know, do you like tweed jackets? Is this a trend that you could see yourself warming to, or is it one that you have worn and loved for years? I would love to know. Now this one I'm sure I'm gonna come under fire for because I have talked a little bit about corset belts on my channel before, and I haven't been a fan if I'm honest but I've definitely warmed to them and I think what I do particularly like about these corset belts which are trending at the moment is that they give some of the oversized pieces that we've all been wearing a little bit of shape and sometimes just giving a little bit of shape and creating a silhouette gives an outfit a more feminine look, but it also just gives it more interest and it's just generally more flattering. So I love the fact that these corset belts create a lovely silhouette and some shape to an outfit, but they also add interest and texture, which in my opinion is the easiest way just to make a, a simple outfit or a dress or a very simple piece elevated and modern. So I love the fact that with these belts, it's just one extra layer, but it creates a, a real wow outfit. Now, one of the big color trends for winter is brown, and I've never been a huge fan, fan of brown. I've always seen it as a little bit of a, maybe a dowdy sort of color, but I've revisited brown and I actually think that it's such a versatile neutral to wear. It pairs beautifully with navy, which is another color trend that we are seeing everywhere. It also looks beautiful paired back with white, pale blue. There are so many options to wear the color brown. It is a really good neutral and I keep reading that brown is the new black for winter. So I think it's worth dipping your toe into this trend. If you're a little bit nervous, maybe one of the easiest ways to get started is to just add a few brown leather accessories to your outfits because accessories generally are the gateway drug into a trend, pardon that saying, but they are sort of the easiest way to, to try out a trend without really putting yourself out there big time. So accessories are always a good thing or a good way to do that, I find. Now it's taken me a long time to warm up to faux fur coats. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that I love real fur. I'm not an advocate for wearing real fur at all, but faux fur just never seem to feel great. In fact, I've got a couple of coats and jackets that I even take the faux fur collar off because it just, they the faux fur just felt Ah, really not nice. It wasn't soft, it felt plasticky, probably because it was. But I think what's happened is that faux fur has come a long way. The technology has improved and it feels better and it's nicer to wear. It's not scratchy. So there are some great faux fur options and for me it's the only way to go these days. So faux fur is something that I have taken a while to get my head around but it's helped because technology has caught up and the faux fur that's on offer these days is definitely a better quality and the sort of quality that you can keep forever which I think is really key. Now next up I've really struggled to get my head around suiting. Now I love wearing blazers and I love wearing pants but I've never really invested in a suit, a matching suit because I think I I lived through the 80s and 90s when power suits were a thing with big shoulder pads and for me I equated that style of dressing with a corporate office sort of arena whereas in fact that's just not how it needs to be and I've I've as I said taken a while to get my head around this but I've realized that suiting is is ideal because it can be worn as a suit together a suit can look more casual if you team a simple tee underneath pair it with trainers and also you've got that versatility of wearing the pieces separately as well. So I've had to get out of the mindset of thinking of suits as something that is a corporate outfit 
to really getting my head around the fact that they're not. Nowadays, suiting is just a great way to dress smart casual. And quite often, smart casual is one of those styles that's quite difficult to really nail down. But in my opinion, suiting is perfect for that smart casual look. Now, next up, I'm sure some of you will laugh at me because of this, but it's taken me a very long time to get my head around the idea of wearing cowboy boots. But luckily, I've finally come on board to this trend because they are huge this season. I'm sure you've seen them online or in the shops, but I do think that cowboy boots, if they're paired back a little bit, are a timeless classic. And certainly if you live in cowboy country, they have always been a timeless classic for you. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, but I do think that a great pair of cowboy boots can look amazing. And I've recently seen some teamed with beautiful sequin dresses. And again, I think what gives them that sort of modern edge is how you style these pieces and teaming them with pieces that you wouldn't imagine. So that sort of unexpected pairing is what in my mind makes them modern and fresh and just gives them a little bit of a fashion edge. So cowboy boots I am here for. I am on the hunt for the perfect pair. Tell me where you buy your cowboy boots. I would love to know. Now this one is an interesting one coming from me because I took years to warm up to the idea of thrifting and now I'm a huge fan. In fact, I recently thrifted a very expensive designer label puffer jacket here and I have to keep fighting my teenage son for it because he loves it. But I managed to thrift it. I think I paid $35. It was a $200 puffer jacket. It was hardly worn, but it has taken me a long time to get my head around thrifting. And the key things that I have realized with thrifting is that it's a long game and it's not a fast game. And generally, you do have to invest a bit of time to uncover some of those gems, especially if you're really looking for a bargain and you've got something in mind that you're hunting for. It's not as easy as going to a a store and picking something out but when you find something for less and it means that you get to enjoy a piece that has had a former life it is just such a great feeling so think about thrifting if you hadn't because it's been something that I've really enjoyed doing over the last couple of years so thrifting took me a long time to get my head around but I'm so pleased I finally did now this one I've struggled to get my head around and I have dabbled with the trend over the years but not for quite a few seasons now and that is cropped jackets. But I must say that crop jackets are just the most versatile piece because they go with pretty much everything and they're really flattering. It's basically giving you an extra layer of warmth but not taking over an outfit. I I think I've seen some with some gorgeous maxi dresses and I love the fact that you, even through the cooler months, can wear these beautiful more summery pieces but you've got the coverage there with a crop jacket but as I said, the crop of the jacket means that it doesn't completely take over and hide the outfit underneath. It can be really complimentary. And if you're worried about crop jackets making you appear shorter in the torso, all you need to do, because some of the crop jackets do just crop you at the wrong part, which tends to draw your eye there and can give the appearance of a shorter torso if you're short waist waisted. So if that's the case for you, the only thing I would say is just be really aware of where your crop falls because that is where the eye will be drawn to. And if you are short waisted, what I tend to find works really well is monochrome dressing. So wear the same color underneath as the jacket. And that just creates a long unbroken line which tends to elongate your body. So if you do have a short torso, torso and you're short-waisted and you love crop jackets that's the way to wear them but they're a trend that I absolutely love and in fact I've talked about it before I'm going to do it in one of these videos and that is crop an old denim jacket of mine because I think it's going to be super handy. Now next up the trend for wearing really wide leg jeans has taken me a long time to wrap my head around 
And I'm disappointed because I know for a fact that they are really flattering to most figures. And in fact, you will find a pair of wide leg jeans that will flatter your figure. It's just about trying on a few different pairs. And in my opinion, wide leg jeans are a little bit more... I think they look a little bit more polished and a little bit more put together and just a little bit more dressy than your average pair of denim jeans. And there's all sorts of varieties of wide leg jeans from your super wide to more of your sort of straight, not too floaty and wide and oversized. So there's kind of something for everyone. And yeah, as I said, they are really flattering and they do just tend to give an outfit a more polished look. One word of warning though is to make sure that you do balance your proportions. So the wider the leg on the bottom, the more fitted you probably should be looking at your top half being. Now that doesn't have to be always the case, but that generally is a good rule of thumb to follow. And anything shirling has really just taken me so long to get my head around. I think it's something to do with the faux fur kind of phenomenon that has just taken me a little bit to get around as well. but. Shirling has come such a long way and I've seen some really gorgeous Czech shirling blazers. So the styles have evolved, the fabric has evolved and shirling in my mind is such a snuggly, warm, cozy winter fabric to wear. So I'm a recent convert to shirling jackets. I'm going to show you a couple here that really swayed me and changed my mind. But let me know in the comments below, are you a fan of shirling or not? Oh, and if you're a fashion lover like me and you would also like to look 10 years younger, then click or tap the video on the screen now and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching and a big thank you to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring today's episode. Don't forget to click that link, have a little shop online and check out the amazing eyewear that they have on offer. See you soon.